Okay, so I was watching a podcast between Stanley Tweedle, Ryan Falk, and Arini, and it was about Trayvon Martin. I'm not really interested in Trayvon Martin. I think he's a fad, and people will forget that he died in a few weeks. No apologies there. And um, they mentioned something about the economy and how in our current recession, there might be a, some pressure for secession because we don't want to deal with this tremendous federal debt. And as one person secedes, it might create a domino effect where a lot of people secede because with less states, there's going to be more money passed to the plate for you to pay. And when that increases, you're, you'll definitely fold and secede. And essentially, the, it'll be the end of the Fed. And as I thought about this, I want to elaborate further. Let's play a game of hypotheticals. Hypothetically, the federal the Fed ends. Hypothetically, because the Fed ends, the Federal Reserve ends. Hypothetically, because there's no corporate corporations can't outsource some. Um, labor due to problems of international accounting and stuff like that you're gonna deal with less corporations plus because that debt is still there from the banks you're gonna deal with a lot of chapter 11 so there's gonna be a lot of smaller businesses that don't have to do international accounting as a result since people from places like Cuba and Mexico are immigrating less Labor is going to be outsourced less. Um, yeah. Basically, hypothetically, there's going to be a lot more smaller businesses that aren't going to be globalized to avoid international accounting and the pressures of getting into more debt. Um, as a result, labor, land, and capital are going to be less outsourced. Businesses will have to become smaller and due to the heavy liquidity we might lose a the debt might be reduced a lot to the point that it's not going to be that bad however those are a lot of pros what about the cons one con that i know is that as a result of a lot of corporations going down and there being less of an international market to depend on our dependence on a steady income and retirement on a future it's going to be a lot more difficult I mean it was already on its last legs and we had to pulverize ourselves for the previous generation and for the next generation to have a future upon retirement but now as good as it might sound all of that has to start from scratch because there's gonna be a lot less banks and their services aren't going to be as fancy and any fields and industries left will be less inconvenient I mean less convenient for services like certificates of deposits and things of that nature it's not going to be the Medicare, Medicaid or um, an AARP that's going to complain and whine about the provision of those services so it's just going to be a lot of negatives too because it's inconvenient in terms of efficiency our system was as inconvenient as it was it did have one thing and that was essentially sustainability it was sustainable not really efficient but sustainable that is to say that there was always There's always a chance 
and that you had an alternative to keep your future in check. Now you're going to have to work. You're going to have to find somebody to mooch off if you can't work. You're going to have to go to your families, your social circles. Social order will have to be retained and with feminist ideology still remaining and stuff like that, natural social order will be difficult or at least unnatural ones. Um, you're not going to have an easy time depending on a marital spouse or your kids. Your kids will probably hate you now because social order has been damaged and now kids fucking hate their parents. So, where are you going to go? Yeah, things are going to be more stable. And if we ever reach that level of corporate America or something like that again, hopefully we'll have the knowledge and wisdom to do it the right way. So that's all I got to say. This has been a Mr. Wonka 7 video. I'm Mr. Wonka 7. Leon Red, whatever the hell they call me now, there's still a Q&A, I want more questions on that, and that's some deep.